Okay, this question is from AFNRM04, who's asking, how do I improve acceleration? Right? They wanna run faster. Yeah, they wanna run faster, so how do I improve my acceleration? Um, the first thing I would do is uh, go to Amazon immediately after watching this video, I would, or I would stop this, if, after, right after this suggestion, and you go to Amazon, and you search for the book, Underground Secrets to Running Faster by Barry Ross. It lays out the foundation and the principles of how, of how you could start to think about, it solves exactly your question, right? It's gonna show you how to start training or give you some idea of where you wanna, or right? it's gonna point you in the direction to start to train smarter so you could start to run faster. Um, that was st that's step one, underground secrets to running faster. Um, step two, if you search, if you search, if you search David Weck, or if you search, yeah, David Weck, alternating underhand sneak, the alternating underhand sneak. This is a rope, it's a rope flow pattern. It's, it's, it's using um, just a simple, literally, here I got one right here. Right. It's just a simple rope. And what this is gonna allow, start to allow you to do, rope flow training, um, is in a low impact way, it's gonna improve your running technique. That's what it's gonna do. And right, um, I made this myself. You can buy them online. Uh, if there's a marine store by you, you could find cheap rope from there or they're 20, right, 20 bucks online, you search RMT rope. But I say the alternating underhand sneak because it, it, what it looks like is this. And this took me two days to learn. And the way you start to learn it is first by going here. You do the whip it up, right? This is, the, this is an underhand, or I guess this would be clockwise, right? Clockwise. So I'm going clockwise with the rope. So that's step one. Step two. I, I hold, I can either hold my, my opposing hand with my, with my, right, my, my other hand, I'm holding on to both, and then step three is holding, or, yes, yeah, so step three is holding both ropes at the same time and swinging. Step four is around, behind the backs. Right, step four is here. And then step five is you're gonna to start to come, you're gonna come up and then you're gonna come over. And then it's, right, it's over. So it goes wings wide, wings wide, pick a side, come over. Wings wide, pick the other side, right? Wings wide, pick a side, come over. Wings wide, pick the other side, come over. Right, so, um, but there's better tutorials online. It's the alternating underhand sneak but why this will make you start to run and improve your running technique to improve acceleration, it's because it teaches in a low impact way, you go from here and when, you're, when you come here, you, what it does is you whip your arms down and, that's, and then you immediately spring your knee up and look, it's gonna create this posture in your body in a low impact way that's gonna train that, that perfect running technique. And it's, you can do nice repetitions, right? It's, you're repping it out here, and it's like every single time you go through a revolution of this, it's gonna improve that running technique. It's also gonna bend and twist your spine. It's a great warm-up tool, um, right? I bring it everywhere, everywhere I go. I just learned this in the past six months. It's completely changed my life and made me a faster runner. So try that, right? That's your second, that's my next um, suggestion. Google search David Weck and the alternating underhand sneak. So that's number two. Um, number three, this is actually a counterintuitive suggestion. If you're a soccer player looking to improve running, but it's, it's for soccer, right? And the thing that made me 
a thing that can do both for you is this O2 trainer. It's a right zero two trainer. It's a it's by Bass Rutten. You could get on Amazon for maybe sixty bucks. And what this is gonna do, it's gonna strengthen your breathing muscles. And why this is relevant to your question is because if you can breathe smarter and make each breath more efficient, that means you can make your training, in theory, as your breathing improves, your training and the amount of time and energy you put into your training will be more efficient. So, so basically, it's going to it's going to make all the training you devote towards soccer as well as your game improve just by breathing better right because if you take two players of exactly the same skill but one has better endurance right one has better endurance that's the player that's going to win so not only will this thing help you with your in your future in pursuing the answers to this question right by it not only will this help you improve your speed um, because it's going to help you train smarter, but it's also going to improve your focus um, as well as your endurance and stamina for just a few minutes a day, right? It's something I highly recommend. So um, this is a game changer, right? I love it because it's portable. I'll do this every single day until I die. That's how, that's how much I, I believe in this thing. Um, and it, it strengthens your core, right? Core is super important. Um, so so give, this, give that a try. Uh, O2 trainer on Amazon. Um, I'm going to show you how to do what we have here. So the ab exercise from from Secrets of Underground or Underground Secrets of Running Faster is okay. So there are different variations, but I'm going to show you a simple variation right here. All right, this is called torture twist, right? The torture twist. And it's it's an isometric ab hold, right? So you're just here and you're 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 curling and you really feel it on this left side. That's all the exercise is. You're going for time and then you rotate to the other side and you want to do this ideally for as long as you can, right? And then start to get your volume up. You could buy a bench you could buy a bench that allows you to do this at home. I bought one on Amazon. I'm not sure the name, but but basically, any if you search abdominal bench and just get the cheapest one, just something that could put you in the position where you're either here or you could go here. But you know, you start to feel it immediately. It's th that book talks about um, how most players uh, have weak obliques, and when you have a weak oblique you lose some force that you create from the ground. So that's why it's super important having um, good oblique strength. The next thing that we can do. Okay, so I want you to, the next thing I want you to search is, so the one we just did, that was the torture twist. The next thing we're gonna do, if you search uh, jumping from the knees, that's by Louis Simmons. Um, You could start to you could start to learn, right? At first, with very very low weight, how to if you begin to jump from the knees, right? If you jump from the knees, this is going to make you more explosive, um, and when you get more explosive, then you're going to the 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 faster right anything that'll make you run faster will make you jump higher and vice versa, right? So if you can if you start to learn how to jump higher and run you'll run faster so right and that'll improve acceleration the more explosive you are um so i have in here well let's do it with no no weight so just with your arms you want to start to whip your arms down and and jump right jump off your knees right so you're here just like that and then you what you're going to start to do is you could get um some weight right i got a five pound weight right here and then you're just, you're jumping, or you're just moving through the motion, getting up onto your, ex, what is it? It's, you're extending your, or your pelvis, I suppose, right? So you're here, 
and you're and you're going to start to use different right you could go through a progression i think louis simmons used to say that for beginners just working on their jumping uh 20 jumps a week right and then maybe for some some expert or some high level jumpers uh start to do 40 jumps a week so that would be another thing that you could start to do um jumping from the knees if you google search louis simmons jumping from the knees um that will help you right run faster um the last thing i'll say um i actually thought of it when i was in this position ziani if you search ziani seven postures um he'll show you seven different very quick stretches that'll start to unlock your body and make it so that um you're in an optimal state of flexibility to pursue this this running faster it's also going to help you um it's going to strengthen your feet your toes these seven postures right search ziani seven postures and learning these seven postures that's going to help you run faster too so uh reach out with any questions and uh good luck thank you for your time all right